So here on Strava, Corkscrew Road, fastest times ever recorded. If it didn't fucking happen on Strava, it didn't fucking happen. Basically. So we have Strava, my best time, 810 off the bat, during on a Patty Bevan, 639, Carly Taylor, 850, her bro record broken, not broken yesterday, almost four years old. So let's have a look at the stats. Strava doesn't lie, especially with a power meter on there. Um, so we have here the times. We have the times of yesterday's stage, NRS, and we have two to another times as well. So I'm 40th off the back. Once the two to under and NRS comes through, yesterday's time, eight nine, April 9, 522 watts, 639. 639. 639. Uh, yesterday. That is a fucking quick time. Everyone's, anything under eight minutes is, anything under ten minutes is quick, man. Anything under eight minutes is exceptional. And uh, we have here, anything under nine, eight, if you get up Corkscrew Road, you're a fucking legend. So I'm just comparing this video here Stats ideas is that NRS faster than two and under and Strava data says yes. The watts five hundred and twenty-two watts. Five hundred and twenty-two watts is that's over seven watts per kilo. I'm assuming that ride is around seventy slow seventies. That's gotta be a, a, over seven watts per kilo. We have some good riders here on the on the field on Strava. Some hitters. Let's have a look at uh, first two and under rider. Uh, we have even Jack Haig did faster time in NRS than two and under. So Jack Haig post on Strava, guessing post on Strava, four hundred sixty-two watts, seven oh seven oh six. So it's almost thirty seconds slower, twenty-seven seconds slower around about than the uh, fastest time recorded ever on Strava by an NRS rider. So Cadell Evans' time was about. I didn't know what it was really, because it's like you talk to one person. Yeah, I was here on SBS to come to you know, it was yeah, yeah, sort of. Time. And then you know, my, my neighbor's cousin's chicken farmers told me that it was look, this time. There's so many conflicting times. What was it? You know, like SBS versus Channel Nine. That if it was not on Strava, didn't happen. Didn't happen. So we have we got Strava with the time with the power meter it makes it more legit, doesn't it? Uh, Thomas De Gates down here, another well-known GC rider off the back on NRS times. So it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, some say all the stage was a bit shorter than two and under stage. Yeah, but there's there's not much prize money up for grabs at NRS and you don't have helicopters, TV stations, etc. following you. So there's there's less spectators, there's less you know, crowd screaming at you. So they, no, no one's screaming at these guys yesterday. Maybe the director's boys in the car, get on the fucking road, can't, but no, no, there's no spectators, there's no big chance. Two and under, man, it's chaos. So NRS definitely deserves some more publicity um, especially the corkscrew stage. I mean, like, I didn't even know about it until that morning uh, or, or the evening before, whatever, and then I didn't even know the girls were coming up. So it was just, I didn't even know. I thought I'd been in the loop. I didn't even fucking have an idea. So I saw one of the teams riding around the other day, and I was like, oh, the NRS is, oh, I had laid tours. Like, oh, well, they're not going to corkscrew because I would have heard about it, but they were. So the, the organizers definitely need to pull a finger out and actually get on social media and actually have a website for the tour and have a map on the website so spectators can go and check it out and have times and stuff. Make it easy to read. If a five-year-old can't read your website, it's too awkward. Okay, so I was out with the camera yesterday filming. Cops coming for me. I thought they were going to come for me. Yeah, Mr. Johnstone, you did a, 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 a talked about diets on, on Instagram and you showed your opinion about a fat diet. You're going to prison, buddy. And so we had the cops. Police escort in front of the race. Here we go. First rider. On the bends, corkscrew, spinning, cruising up there. And uh, I won't mention any names, so I don't want to leave anyone out or make someone's make an error. But I'm going to rewind it in a second and look at different techniques. There's a, there's a rider in there with some good fucking good posture, some good technique. So this is not even criticism or whatever. This is merely just a physiology lesson. It's not often you get elite athletes. That's a beautiful thing about cycling. Get up and close and film and... This is like a, a physiology lesson. We can look at a little bit of basic physics, basic efficiency, motion, etc. The riders coming around. So they got splintered up on the corkscrew. Splintered up. I think it got splintered a bit on Checkers Hill as well. Uh, a good. Uh, would, would have been great to have the girls on camera as well. I wish the race organisers would pull the <laughs> event more publicised. Even the local riders. Even on the local cycling form, the people are, is there a race in the weekend? Like, where do we go? Where do we go? I didn't even know. So it was maybe four of us on a corkscrew. Um, it's a great climb, man. Two and under, we get fucking 
half a million on this climb. Why can't we have more if the organisers actually got behind the event and made it public <laughs> versus Secret Squirrel Race? So we have some riders here. We'll get to the rewind in a second. As well, we'll show the front groups. These are all the front groups. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Hey. Spin to win! Spin to win! We have the first rider coming up the road, on the road, first rider on the road at Corky. I want you to look at the rider's pedals, I want you to see how much side to side movement there is with the upper body. And now when cycling, you're in the saddle, you want to be scraping, you want to be scraping the mud off the sole of your shoe. Look at those yellow shoes, scraping the mud, and scraping the mud off the gutter. So you're just getting rid of dog shit on your shoe, you're scraping the dog shit off your shoe when you're in the saddle. Out the saddle doesn't matter, in the saddle, scraping it off. Now look at these riders coming through. Now pay attention to the second rider, not the blue helmet. Just go to rider number two. Number two, here he is there. Watch him, watch his upper body. And he's not really moving much at all. Just really stiff, efficient. There's different styles, but that's definitely a style to watch. He had, he had the highest cadence out of all of them. But look at his upper body versus the other riders. Nothing's going on there. It's just all pure power. 522 watt average. Whoosh up the climb, no waste and effort. You can get out the saddle and stuff like that, that's fine. I'm just saying that in the saddle spinning, it's a mountain biker technique. I'm not sure if this rider's got a mountain bike background, but it's a mountain biker technique. In the saddle spinning definitely is uh, the way to go. So let's rewind that again, and I want you to look at the cadence this time. I'll put it on normal speed, look at the cadence. And here we go, look at the cadence. Cadence, all these front runners hit big cadence, high cadence, spinning, spinning, spinning. Now pay attention to the second rider. Number one, number two, look at his cadence. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just spinning. All these riders are spinning pretty good, but the second rider, that 522 guy, 522 watts, man, spinning the most, spinning the most. So there you go. You can grind up the fucking hills, or you can spin to fucking win. And there's a lot of debate, there's a lot of debate during riding such and such grinds. If you can grind up a hill, it means you're nowhere fucking near your limit. If you can grind up a hill, you've got way more power left. You can if you can produce that much torque, you've you got, you fucking, you're a beast. So if you, would, you want to turn that torque into power, torque plus cadence equals power. So you, cycling's not about producing torque, that's what fucks your knees up and makes you slower than you would be otherwise. Torque plus cadence equals power. So you want to be able to spin those fucking pedals like Mr. 522. Spin to fucking win.